It's a safe bet that you already know what a pump is and what it does. But what you may not know is that numerous pump types move fluids, and their construction and operation are dictated by the type of fluid they are moving. The root definition for a pump is simply a device that moves fluids using mechanical action. There are two types of pumps, positive displacement and rotodynamic. Positive displacement pumps grab and go as a fixed amount of fluids captured by a rotor, gear, piston, or some other device that creates a void at the pump inlet. It is then mechanically moved, displaced, to the pump discharge. Displacement pumps provide a constant flow at a given speed, regardless of the pressure in the system. An example of this type of pump is the oil pump in your car's engine. While positive displacement pumps are easy to understand, rotodynamic pumps are a bit less intuitive. Rotodynamic pumps throw and go by transferring kinetic energy to the water via rotation. The fluid is thrown within the pump, and in turn, kinetic energy transfers to the fluid as its velocity increases. As the pump discharges, the velocity reduces and the energy converts to potential energy in the form of increased pressure. Note that centrifugal pumps do not suck water in. They create conditions where the pressure of the system at the pump inlet, the suction head, pushes the water into the pump. Specifically, as the fluid leaves the pump, system pressure at the pump inlet pushes fluid into the void left behind the discharged fluid. There are numerous types of rotodynamic pumps, but the most common in commercial buildings are the centrifugal type. 